So welcome to our series on Marian apparitions. I'm Dr. Mike Schurslick, founder of the Holy Family School of Faith, and I'm so glad that you're with us because I want to share with you a Marian apparition that's a proof that most people are not familiar with. From 1983 to 1990, Jesus and Mary appeared giving more than 1,800 messages to a mother and housewife named Gladys Kirogo de Mota. Now, in this series of apparitions, first Our Lady asked that a church be built in honor of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Gladys went to the bishop, and as you might expect, he wanted a sign. Well, he got one. There was a seven-year-old boy who was dying of brain cancer, and he was already paralyzed on his right side. His name was Gonzalo, and Gonzalo had a dying wish. He wanted to receive his first Holy Communion before he died. So the bishop sent a priest to give him first Holy Communion, but also to entrust him to Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. The priest went, gave him communion, and within 45 minutes of receiving Jesus in the Eucharist, the paralysis was gone from little Gonzalo. And within three weeks, the brain tumor was completely gone. Well, the bishop got his sign and he started building the church. There is an urgency to the messages of Our Lady at San Nicolas. For example, on May 13th, 1989, the feast of Our Lady of Fatima, Mary said, as previously in Fatima, Today, my visits are renewed on earth. They are more frequent and more prolonged because humanity is passing through very dramatic times. Has man not understood that he must be uniquely at the service of God? If he resists, his soul will be lost. Many hearts do not accept my invitation to prayer and conversion. That is why the work of the devil is growing and expanding. My dear children, it is only through prayer and conversion that you will return to God. May he not find your hearts dry. Then Jesus told Gladys that Mary is the new ark where we are to find refuge from the flood of evil that is swamping the world today. Jesus said, Formerly the world was saved by the ark of Noah. Today the ark is my mother. Through her, souls will be saved because she will lead them to me. He who rejects my mother rejects me. Many are letting the grace of God pass by in these days. And then Our Lady reminded the world of the power of the rosary. She said, The weapon that has the greatest influence on evil is to say the rosary. You see this crown? because this is what I want you to do. Create a real crown of rosaries. How many mouths remain silent, still without even knowing a single prayer, which may bring them close to the Lord. The Holy Rosary is the weapon which the enemy fears. It is also the refuge of those who look for relief for their sufferings, and it is the door to enter into my heart. And at San Nicolas, Our Lady calls us all to take part in a rescue mission to save souls. She said, God's warning is over the world. Those who stay in the Lord have nothing to fear, but those who deny what comes from him do. Two thirds of the world is lost and the other part must pray and make reparation for the Lord to take pity. The devil wants to have full domination over the earth. He wants to destroy. The earth is in great danger. This is a remarkable message that Our Lady is saying that two thirds of the world is lost. Two thirds of the world is in danger of rejecting God and going to hell forever. But remember, Our Lady is the mother of all peoples in the world. She wants all of her children in heaven. So she's calling the third that's listening that's you, to join her in a rescue mission to help save souls. So what is our role in this rescue mission? 
What is Our Lady calling us to do? Well, first, to consecrate ourselves to her Immaculate Heart. She says, give me your hearts and I will place Jesus in them and make you my apostles. Second, she's calling us to commit to daily meditation and formation through the rosary. And we've made this easy to do for you, for we've created a daily rosary podcast in which we begin each decade by giving you a short teaching from the Word of God, from Scripture, Tradition, and the Magisterium, so that then while you're praying the Our Father, the Ten Hail Marys, and the Glory Be, you can learn your faith and learn how to meditate. You can find this at dailyrosary.net or wherever you download your podcast, just type in Daily Rosary Meditations. Third, Our Lady wants us to form a team. Our Lady wants all of her children to have a small group of family and friends with whom we share life and integrate our faith. So who are the people that God has already placed in your life? Invite them. Invite them to just do what you normally do, but do it together. Invite those people in your life to share a meal, to have drinks, to watch a game, to just sit outside and talk. And if the circumstances are right, invite them to pray the rosary with you. See, the small group is the unit of transformation, and it's the best fighting unit because Our Lady knows in this spiritual warfare, we all need someone who has our back and those for whom we can fight and have theirs. And this becomes the place where we can invite others so that they can experience the joy of true friendship, but also to experience the love of God. For Pope Benedict said that people come to God through other people, and true friendship is the bridge by which we cross over to God. Now, Our Lady doesn't want more programs. We have enough programs. They don't work. What Our Lady wants is for all of her children to live a simple way of life, of friendship, good conversation, and the rosary. And if we do what Our Lady is asking, we can change world events and help to save souls. So won't you join us in this rescue mission? I'm so grateful that you joined us for this episode. And subscribe to our YouTube channel because there is much more from Our Lady that we want to share with you. But what Our Lady asks, is that we pray the rosary every day. So you can find us at dailyrosary.net for our rosary podcast or on your favorite podcast platform. Just put in Daily Rosary Meditations. So thank you and God bless.